friends we have decided that t cell is important especially cd8 then how do you choose a vaccine before choosing a vaccine i think let's recall the criteria which had been given by who also we know the best way whatever shortcomings i'll tell you but the best way to defeat covid is vaccine the present day vaccine whatever shortcomings it has but it is the only and the best way vaccine also teaches all uh, all the immune system but how does it teach what the stimulus for it this to get all these four pillars healthy well i have shown you previously all the four pillars have not been equally represented only one pillar has been done and so igg antibodies are only one weapon one fourth of the total armory immune system available to defeat covid is that adequate let's see what is the who saying what is the mandate mandate was very clear that said also the two cells only cy and antibody cy cell mediated immunity that we have told you earlier also and if you come to the vaccine a vaccine activates the b cells for antibodies and t cells for cell dependent okay for killing the viruses this is also very clearly and this is only blocking the entry entering the cells two types this is adaptive immunity it does not talk about does not talk about uh in innate immunity or iga important thing no t cell activation by inactivated virus vaccine important what are inactivated virus vaccines sinovac wuhan institute sinopharma beijing institute and also indian co vaccine these four vaccines are through inactivated virus and clearly who says inactivated virus vaccine generally only induce antibody mediated immunity not cell mediated immunity think of it this is very very important to understand so co vaccine as it is so to add to compensate for it they add alum aluminum so there certain chemical messengers are activated which can take the chemical stimulus for cd8 stimulation but that is not the case clinically speaking now let us see the four aspects of vaccines and compare four aspects of what are the four aspects first we must know how do you stimulate the immune system is by antigen antigen are for the vaccines for the spike proteins and they are strangers to the immune system so they are taught any stranger which comes attack them and that's what happens so how the antigen is given spike protein is given that's what the vaccines are different vaccines are made up like some people give a spike protein directly some people do not give a spike protein directly they give this genetic formula so they let the body make it and some some people make it half of it the spike protein through some other virus and then inject into us there are, these are the things you will see prepare immune defense against spike protein of virus oblivious of other targets of the virus oblivious of the other targets not recalling the other targets this is inactivated virus the spike protein antigen in the vaccine itself vaccine is having this is from the inactivated virus and this is part of the virus this is sub sub uh, immune system sub uh, activated virus and these are the formula given by them this formula will come as mrna or it can come in altered dna or vector virus vector is a carrier virus in which it, the genes have been stitched for making a spike protein okay some unit novavax is very specific it produces only the subunit means only the spike out of these things 
a producer only this much and this is given through another virus which acts through another butterfly moth like insect and their antibody these are uh, produced and which are given to us in nanoparticle form these are inactivated virus which we have already listed them then these are to the genetic machinery as i told you covid shield is sputnik and janssen janssen like covid shield is a extra oxford extra genetica okay and mra is modern man pfizer biotech i recalling it that two cells the antigen produces only two type of immunity the these are only to tell you how the spike they look like but i have done some comparison of these changes and this is my master chart which i have made all the vaccines type of immunogen which i have already told you efficacy we have discussed in lot efficacy of day is like a share market it changes every day so that's not go by the what was 95% became 39% 79% so i have told you about the t cell activity elderly also have told every thing claims to be effective elderly but we have seen elderly to be definitely as per the printed one in covishield okay covaxin uh, also claims and they all produce admission there's not much to differentiate t cell activity i have told you five only vaccines Now I name them. Important thing is protection against Delta variant, shield against Delta, which we know everything has been uh, signed by press release, but actually published one. We have only a few which claim, and every day the data is changing. Claims are happening, so let's not go by them. And there's only one specific thing is Johnson Johnson. It's only single shot, but the pride of India, gift of Indian brains. to world is our dna vaccine first in the world first to given by us we take pride in it and that is now i'll tell you about the pride of india the brains of india have given this world a first vaccine dna vaccine dna vaccine called zycovid d is a plasmid d dna vaccine plasmid d okay and this is important to understand that we are going to have children getting vaccinated by this first stage trials have been done safe and useful and we have given them emergency permission and this medicine is going to change the landscape of immunization in children it is a very safe medicine no doubt no doubt i must tell you we do not know the long term effects of any of the genetic medicines let it be vector bound Well, it will be this plasmid DNA. Thank you.